Hi, everybody. Welcome to Stamping with Melva. I'm Melva Peters, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. And tonight, I want to show you how I made that card that I shared as part of the Festive Friday challenges. Every two weeks, every second Friday, uh, the group of demonstrators from around the world uh, share their projects for a particular festive occasion that's happening somewhere in the world. And this one is for Apple Day. I'm not sure where it's celebrated in the world, but it's kind of cool. Um, and every challenge, we are given an inspiration list of 10 items that we need to choose at least three and make a project. So for this particular challenge, the 10 items were red, green, tree, sequence, circle, baking, gingham, basket weave, or harvest. All very appropriate for Apple Day. So I used tree, circles, and gingham for my card today. Um, I could have used sequence as well, and that was on my list to use, but I actually was out of the sequence that goes along with the Peaceful Cabin product suite. That's definitely on my, my list to order um, <laughs> when I put my next order in. So let me switch over to my desktop and I'll get started. And the button to switch over. All right, there we go. So this is the card that I shared today. And uh, I really love this product suite. This is the Peaceful Cabin suite. This is the stamp set that goes along with it. And actually for this card, the only thing I used was this For You stamp. All of the, uh, the other pieces on my card are die cuts that go along with it. Now, I was going to show you the die cuts, but I've got them all laid out on pieces of cardstock. So as we go along, I will show you all of the die cuts that go along with it. So just a note, I'm going to give you the measurements as we go along, but if you miss any, all of the measure for measurements for my card, as well as the written instructions and the supply list, will be on my blog. And the link to my blog is underneath this video. So if you ever miss out as I'm going through, um, just remember you can go out to my blog and get, get the supply list, the written instructions, and all of the measurements. I really love this uh, product suite, as I said. The, the designer series paper is stunning. It is all in black and white. Uh, basic gray and smoky slate. And so for my card, I've used a basic black uh, card base, designer series paper, um, white and black circles that are cut from the, the layering circles dies. And then these die cuts that are all cut from the uh, peaceful cabin, it's called cabin dies, that goes along with the collection. And then this ribbon, gingham, which of course I, you know, decided to use from the inspiration list, is actually, um, it's actually from the Halloween product suite in the catalog, so you may have missed it, but it goes so well with this Peaceful Cabin um, suite. So I've used some of the gingham ribbon. This is great for coloring as well. You can color this ribbon with uh, its Stampin' Blends. And then I've used vellum cardstock to cut some of the trees as well. So let's get started. So I've got a piece of basic black cardstock that is cut five and a half by eight and a half. Oops. Dropped my vellum on the floor. All right, so it's five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm just gonna go ahead and score it at four and a quarter to form the card base. I started to try and score my cardstock for the card base. I'm just finding it gives, you know, it's probably not rocket science, but it just gives a much nicer fold to your cards. So this is where I scored, it forms the valley, the other side forms the mountain. And so if you fold into the mountain, you get a nicer fold. So I'm gonna just take my bone folder. Just give it a really nice crease. Oops. All right, so I've got that cut and folded. Now I've got a piece of designer series paper. It's great paper. This has got the snowflakes on it and it's got a bit of um, gold, uh, silver foil. On the other side, this great gingham, it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna use that side. I'm not gonna adhere that quite yet. I've got a piece of um, vellum and I'll bring in the dies that I'm using. So these little, these little dies, there are three of them, um, cut out individual trees which are perfect. So I'm going to cut three of those. 
Put that off to the side. Huh? And then I've got a piece of basic white, and I've got the largest of the circle dies from the layering circles. And then I've got a piece of basic black, and I've got the largest of the scallop circles, so that's going to be my main circles. And then these dies are from the, the cabin dies. So these cut out dies, or cut out trees with holes in them. And then there is this outline piece that you can fit the individual trees into and cut the trees out, which is great because if you didn't have this, you would just get a bunch of tree shapes on your cardstock with holes in them. So this allows you to cut those trees out. And then the last piece that I'm going to cut out, so there's a fair amount of cutting here. I'm using Smoky Slate. This die is for the cabin. You can see it's cabin, and it, it just embosses and cuts, cuts pieces out, so there's no stamping on this. And again, there is an outline piece that you can cut. This works um, works for the, the stamped image of the, as do the trees, so there are stamped images of both the cabin and the trees that these outline dies will cut out, but they also cut the outline of these other pieces. Now, I'm going to move this off to the side. And I'm going to bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine. I could use my mini, but I've cut my paper too big for this, so we'll just cut these out. So we'll cut the trees first. Try not to shake the table. So there's my trees. We'll just put that down there. Now, this is my cabin. The only piece of this, I'm not using the, well, this is a great outline die because it actually gives you kind of a snow line. But for my card, I'm not actually using that snow line. It cuts it out. to check to make sure hopefully I've got this I have worry that I don't have the right mics turned on and off all right so for this piece I'll show you what that cuts out in just a second when I get my get the machine out of the way okay. and then we'll take and cut the trees and the circle the scallop circle these fit these trees fit into the outline like that and then the circle. And I think oopsie. I think that's all of the cutting. So now I can show you. So we've got the scallop circle like that. And somewhere, oh, I guess I didn't cut my, my white circle. Okay, let me do that quickly. So I've got my my two circles that are gonna one will the the black will be the mat Put those back there. All right, and then so these trees. I can cut out here. I could have moved it over a little bit and that would cut out so you can see I get um, trees, they've got holes in them. Really kind of nice. And then my cabin with the outline piece on it. Peel that off. And so you the cabin actually is again, I don't need this all. I'm gonna just take and snip 
sniff this off. And the cabin um, has these spaces in it. Now, I don't know if my die is, is actually supposed to be like this. It's not cutting all the way. And I only just realized this the other day, but I'm just going to take my snips and cut that out. So if you find yours does that, you can just cut that little piece out. Put the holes out to the windows and then across the top of the tree or the roof line. So you end up with a great little cabin. Kind of hard to see. Um, but the little cabin goes like that. Now I'm just going to take and trim this. I don't want this to be that big. Uh, I just want it to fit because it's going to go on to the circle like that. Um, the trees. Take my take your pick tool and poke all the holes out. Now I feel like I could save all these little bits that I poke out. <laughs> I probably would be buried in the little bits, but I'm sure I could make some great shaker cards with all the little bits I poke out of of my die cuts. I'll just poke these out. These are pretty small, but. Again, I'm going to trim my trees because I want this to fit behind, behind my cabin like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some stamp and seal or if you want to use multi-purpose adhesive glue, whatever your favorite adhesive is to adhere my circles together. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to put my trees, and I'm going to use dimensionals for this, just to give it a little bit of uh, up texture and dimension. And I'll just put that on like that. that and then your cabin is just going to go right over top and when you get your cabin on you can actually trim off these trees if you want so that they're all lined up we're going to cover the bottom with the gingham ribbon and i'm just going to take and use some stamp and seal again you could use your multi-purpose adhesive glue but i'm just going to use some stamp and seal and adhere that down on the bottom and i'm going to take my paper snips and I'm just going to trim off the edge so that they're even like that. Now you could use dimensionals to put this onto your card base or actually it goes onto the designer series paper. We haven't adhered this to the card base yet because we actually want to put the ribbon on. So I'm just going to put that on the left hand side of the card like that. And what's next? Okay, let's put the, the gingham ribbon. This ribbon is amazing. Like I said, you can actually color it. It's very cool. So just take your stamp and blends and color it. I did one the other day, um, a Halloween card or a, a Thanksgiving card. I don't remember, but I colored it in purple. I think it was a Thanksgiving card. So what I want to do is I want to adhere this. You can see on my card, I actually had a little bow. And the way I did this was I roughly... I left enough space on this side because I'm actually going to take and I'm going to tie my bow. So I want my bow to be about here. So just make sure you leave enough, enough ribbon on this side of the card so that when you actually start, I haven't cut anything yet, just start and tie your bow. Again, I just want a little bow. And I'm going to put it, yeah, so I've got them good. And I'm going to put it right on the edge of the, or at the bottom of my, my uh, cabin. And you can take a glue dot and just put it underneath the bow to hold it in place. So put the, the glue dot where you want your bow to go, like that. And then you can adhere it using stamp and seal. You can actually cut it off at this point because it's going to just wrap around the back of your designer series paper. Let's see? 
gently so you don't untie your bow. Wrap it around the bottom of your designer series paper. Oh, I'm untying my bow here. Don't want to do that. And adhere it to the back using just a little bit of stamp and seal or, or uh, tear and tape adhesive, whatever you like. And so now I've got my ribbon. So I've got my bow here on the on the uh, one side. And now I'm going to use stamp and seal. To adhere this to my card base. Make sure I've got my opening the right way. It wouldn't be the first time I adhere my card base going the wrong way. Okay, there we go. My trees away. All right, I cut out these little trees out of vellum. So I can just take peel off the, the dies and get my trees out, which I, oh, there it is. I had lost one, I had not. Okay, so just use a glue dot to adhere the trees on. And I'm gonna tuck my trees behind my images here. So I'm just gonna tuck and we've got one there. So just using glue dots works really well. And one behind here. Just staggering them with the, the black trees just to give some added dimension. And uh, I, love, I love vellum trees. Okay, there we go. So the only thing left on the front of my card is the sentiment. And I've just got a scrap of a uh, basic white cardstock. And I'm going to use Tuxedo Black Memento and I'm just going to stamp the For You uh, sentiment. Now you could take and you could use uh, a die or a punch if you want. I'm actually just taking my paper snips and I'm just going to take and cut. Go down around the Y and then back so for you. And then I'm just going to cut at an angle on each end just to give it a little bit of a different shape. And now, there we go. I do have some more. The mini dimensionals work the best because this is pretty small sentiment. So I'm just going to use some of the mini dimensionals on the back of my sentiment. Like that. And I always have a hard time with the mini dimensionals. My fingers feel like they're too fat to, to peel off the backing. So use a mini dimension, uh, use your take your pick tool, and then the sentiment I'm just going to put up in that top right hand corner. If you have some sequence, the, the subtle, subtle shimmer sequence that goes along with this collection, it looks really pretty just to add some some kind of bling onto your card. Like I said, I, I ran out and don't have any left. I gotta order some. All right, and then the last thing is I have, gosh, it's amazing how much of a mess one can make. All right, I have a piece of, of basic white card stock and it's cut four inches by five and a quarter. And then I've got a piece of this really pretty designer series paper that is cut, I believe this is one inch. Yeah, one inch by five and a quarter. This was really just a piece that I had left over. It's a great way to use up your, your scraps of designer series paper and put on the inside. So I'm just going to take that and put it along the bottom. Depending on what you've got, it's a little bit long. You can just trim it if it's too long. I think on the inside of this card, I had a piece, yeah, I had a piece that was going the other way. But whatever works, I mean, this was just a piece I had left over. Sometimes I always have these 
always seem to have little pieces of designer series paper left over and rather than put them in the recycle bin, put them on the inside of your card. And I'm just going to leave this blank because I'm not sure who it's going to go to or what sentiment I want on it for the moment. All right, so that's, that's my card. Um, like I said, not much stamping on this one. Lots of die cutting, but not much stamping. And the, and the uh, cabin dies and this whole suite just make it so easy to make a beautiful card. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, as I said, um, I share a card every other Friday as part of festive, uh, festive Friday challenges. And we would love you to use the inspiration li list, pick three items and make a card and share it. And each week um, we leave it open for about a week, actually just over a week. And then we, we go through and, and pick our top picks. Um, our favorites from all of the cards that are shared. So if you'd love to do that, we would love to see the cards that you create as well for, for the festivity. Uh, again, thank you so much for uh, watching my video. Please take the time to subscribe uh, so that you get notified when I do videos, uh, post my video tutorials or whether I'm doing a live uh, a YouTube live. Uh, you can go out to my blog and get all the measurements and instructions and supply lists for this card. Uh, you can also subscribe to um, my newsletter and uh, also my blog from there. So if you have any questions as you're making this card or watching this video, just pop them into the comment either here or on my blog, and I'm happy to respond to your questions. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and... Uh, yeah, we'll be back again soon. Happy stamping, everybody. Bye.